All right, we have a lot going on today. I want to get you started with what a lot of people are talking about really is the eclipse that we're going to be able to see just one week from today in the afternoon. If you're getting really technical, about 314 here in Detroit. So um, it's going to be a 99% coverage for us here. But if you want to go down to Ohio, you can be in the path of totality. A lot of people are now looking for glasses, eclipse glasses, and uh, you need to know that there are certain ones that are fake and are real. So let's get you going on everything. Eclipse glasses, number one, are 1,000 times darker than regular sunglasses. So don't think you can get away with regular sunglasses and looking at the eclipse. You're going to have to find one that have the, sta the safety standard ISO on them. That is a safety standard for eclipse glasses. Yes, there is such a thing. And the American Astronomical Society does not re recommend searching for these glasses on like Amazon or eBay or Timu because of the danger of counterfeits that are out there right now because so many people across the country are looking for them. They actually list um, companies that manufacture the real thing and you can find a lot of those being sold at Meyer, Kroger, Walmart, Menards, many other places there. You can also check out your local libraries or your, you know, your city hall, see if they're giving away glasses as well. Um, you know, if you do have some, it's good to make sure that you're actually dealing with the real thing because anyone can put an ISO stamp on there. So take a look. The top glasses that you're looking at right now, and this is done um, by the American Astronomical Society, Astronomical Society, um, top ones are fake. That's because they have their um, squared. You see the, the straight edges on the side? And on the bottom, those are the real ones. They're rounded. And also, they're reflective lenses on the real ones. They're just the straight black, like a sunglass lens, on the top one. So there's a good look at what is real and what is fake there as you take a look. All right. Uh, a lot of our trending stories on ClickOnDetroit.com have to do with the solar eclipse. And a lot of people are, are talking about different questions that they have that you would think might be common sense when it comes to eclipse watching but you know what we don't get to experience this all the time ken haddad is with me of course from click on ken I i'm disappointed you're not wearing the eclipse glasses right now you know i i bought some counterfeits so i guess i'm gonna have to go back to you gotta swap them out. buy some real ones you gotta make yeah. sure you've got the real thing yeah. all right I, you know people are asking a lot of questions and i thought it'd be pretty valuable to put up some of the some of the questions and of course you know here in michigan what where's the best place or where's the path of totality uh, that people can find there's only one place in michigan there's only it. one place yeah. it's a big Big moment for Luna Pier, which is down <laughs> in Monroe County. It's a small town. It's right at the border and perfectly named, right, for this event. Actually, Luna Pier was originally named Lakewood, and then Ooh. they changed their name because they have a they have a uh, something there that's shaped like a crescent moon. And they decided, let's just name the whole thing after that. So, But it's kind of like they've been prepared for this their whole Their lives. whole time. Yeah. I mean, this is this is their moment. So this yeah. is the that's the one place in Michigan. I know a lot of people, I'm going down to Toledo, actually. We're going to be covering it uh, from the University of Toledo. A lot of people, uh, you know, you'll be able to maybe have a little bit more room to see it if you yeah. can't quite squeeze into uh, exactly. Toledo Pier. Yeah. All right. Um, I thought this was interesting. The second question um, that you guys got on Click On was, can I play golf during the <laughs> eclipse? And we sort of laughed at this. But this is a thing. Yeah, I'm sure it's actually probably a really high demand time to golf, right? Because you want to <laughs> yeah. be on the golf course there while this is happening. If you're probably in a really scenic, beautiful area, uh, assuming the clouds aren't, you know, blocking everything. Right. But I mean, take a swing, while, you know, take a swing during the eclipse. What a t what a thing to tell everybody that you did and take get a photo of that. Yeah. I, I don't see there's not going to be any problem there. I think you're going to be fine if you're golfing during the eclipse. And if if it's an issue, just wait a minute or two. It'll probably, you know, it'll pass. Again, the eclipse so. is only going to last. Yeah, about four minutes, the totality of it. Exactly. And if you're if you're in Michigan, it's going to be the partial, the 99% sliver. Yeah. So, um, all right. But but also, people are asking about driving. Yeah. Uh, can you drive during the eclipse? I think when it comes down to driving, it's like act like you've been there, right? Just like be cool. <laughs> don't don't do anything crazy. Like don't pull over, and you know don't don't just like try to you know out catch the eclipse while you're driving, while you're, you know, kind of like Goodfellas style while you're watching for the helicopter. You don't want to do that. Right. Just be cool. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very quick. <laughs> Just act like you're driving at night. Turn your lights on. Be safe. You know, you're going to be fine. It'll, yeah, it'll you know, I think right. it's funny because AAA has actually put out a guide about driving during the eclipse, and don't don't drive with those glasses on. That's not going to do you. Yeah. That's not going to do you any good. Yeah, All don't right. do that, especially if they're counterfeits. Exactly. <laughs> well, we know that you guys are going to have a lot of coverage coming up. Fine, click on. Yep.
For sure. And if you want to check right now and see how much uh, in the path you are, it won't be 100% if you're in Metro Detroit, but you'll probably be in the 99% area. You can go to clickondetroit.com. There's a tool there from NASA where you can punch in your zip code, and then you can see everything that you'll be able to see from your house. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, look, if you get 99% on a test, it's still pretty good, it's right? Like your, your parents are going to be good. pretty proud of you still. So <laughs> um, it's it'll still be an event, even if you're not in the path of totality. Yeah, that's us. So we put in our uh, our zip code right here at Local Four. All right, Ken, sounds good. We'll see you later. See Thanks so much.